Here we go. Hopefully. The Final Trials Evolution stream. I say hopefully because we're at the hardest levels of the game. And... I, I don't know. I think I'm okay at this game. That's the best I can say. Okay. I don't get Platinums. I'm not that good. But, uh... Hopefully... With determination and grit, I will at least be able to finish the extreme courses within two or three hours. Uh, we have two batches of them. We have the Trials HD Warehouse ones and the the Trials Evolution. I'll start with the HD ones. Now, I said this... I say this every stream, but it's so cool that they uh, they included... Trials HD levels in this version of the game. Just because Trials HD never came to a came to PC. It's still a Xbox 360 exclusive. Red Lynx is one of the better companies when it comes to uh, preservation, for sure. I just updated OBS before I started this, so hopefully there aren't any, like, uh, weird hiccups with the recording. Immediately, we have a pretty big jump. Alright, I'm not going to be too worried about getting, like, faultless or anything on these, because I, there's no chance that I'm going to. I was still, uh... I was in the process of, like, actually making an attempt to beat the... to complete these games. At least this one. Before I realized that, uh, they don't have achievements on Steam for some reason. Except for Trials 2, which is the worst one of the ones on Steam. Now, it's been a while since I actually streamed it, but I seem to remember it not having, like, even controller support. Maybe I finagled something, but I tried to replicate it and I wasn't able to. It, it just wasn't worth going for the achievements in that game. Okay, well, hmm. Here, here we are already at an impasse. How long before I press the uh, the start level over button by mistake? Okay, how am I gonna do this? I can wheelie fine. I need to, I need to like hop to catch my rear wheel on that somehow. without falling back on my ass. Oh, uh, uh, get up. Please get up. Get up. Ah, that was almost it. Maybe, it, maybe it's better that these games don't have achievements. Because I, if I had to get goals on on the, if I had to get golds on levels like these, then that would that would never happen. Thankfully, unless more of them appear, it looked like there were only four extreme levels from the HD collection. I wonder how many levels there are in the next game in the Trials Fusion. I would think because this one includes Trials HD, it should have, like, the biggest level count. Also, one of the reasons I'm now more eager to get through the Trials series than I once was is, uh, I want to get through this one and the next one so that we can do a multiplayer stream of both of them. There we go. That took long enough. Speaking of multiplayer games... 
a bizarre announcement yesterday. Castle Crashers just got an update announced on Steam. The game that hasn't had updates in like, well, it must be like 10 years or more. But uh, it's getting a new character. It's getting a little mini version of the Painter Boss and Steam Workshop support. So people are going to be able to make their own custom characters in Castle Crashers. I wonder how popular that's going to be. Because it's still a very fun multiplayer game. It holds up. But, uh... I wonder how, many, how much of a community it still has that people are... Uh, how, how many people are going to make things in the workshop for it. And also how in-depth it is. I think... From the sound of the update, it just... You can choose from the existing magic in the game. If you can mix and match... I'm curious what combination is going to be, like, the most broken. Okay. There's one level down. That didn't take... That wasn't... It was pretty bad, but... We got through it. We got silver with four faults less. I think Inferno was one of the the ultimate one of one of the hardest levels in trials 2. I might be misremembering that. I did revisit that game just to see if I could make it work with a controller. And there were like uh, there were like two levels in the game that I didn't do. I thought I did them all. I guess I didn't though. Man I found a couple of the uh, minigames benefit from using bikes other than this one, but this is still... I still just prefer this bike for most levels. The Scorpion. I gave a couple... Well, I gave uh, Nick Wickersham the game after this one, Trials Fusion, because I think if someone were to play only one Trials game, that would be the one I would recommend. It's generally the most fully featured. It's close, though. This one is also a good candidate if you were only to play one Trials game. Fusion is cool because it, uh, well, A, it doesn't have this, like, really NT's, you know, gritty style to it. It's a little more optimistic, a little more modern. And it adds, uh, it add, uh, adds extra vehicles, like the, uh, the ATV is a neat addition to a Trials Fusion. The one, like, uh, the one kind of divisive thing about it is that it adds, like, tricks. I'll have to play through it to see how much it, like, forces that gimmick. Hopefully not too much. Hopefully the tricks are, like, pretty optional. Hello, Darian. I was just talking about that, uh, that Castle Crashers update that I mentioned on the Discord. Which, as much as I have played the game, I very nearly 100%ed it on PS3. And I got pretty far along that, those lines on uh, Steam as well. But we've never done a stream of it, so maybe maybe if there's like a good workshop creation or two, maybe that'll be the impetus. Too bad it only applies to Steam. Well, it's Steam Workshop, so yeah. PC Master Race. That's the same for a lot of games, like uh, Hat in Time, 
the uh, Steam Workshop is a great reason to get that on PC. Uh, hmm. Alright. So I can't just reverse over this. I'm gonna have to be going at speed in order to make it. Oh, how am I gonna do this? Okay, so here's my theory. I want to go here, and then I want to land here and bounce off a second time. Maybe? Maybe not. Also, Castle Crashers is like a, a what, one gigabyte game? From more than 10 years ago. Any Anyone with any kind of computer can run Castle Crashers. You don't need a gaming PC or anything. Okay, so how... I really need to fall on this part at speed is the only way this is happening. Okay, another another idea. I keep going up. No, I can't go up past that. So if I fall in there, I'm done. I can't fall in that little middle pit at all. And reverse is so slow, it's basically a non-factor. Well, going backwards helped me at all. I don't think it will. I don't like this. I don't like this level. I see the arrows, but I don't know how to, like, bounce myself in that way. Maybe if I do a bigger jump? Somehow? have no idea other than to just like flail until it gets it lands right and it's so precise maybe if I maintain like one wheel while I'm rolling down I'll lose less momentum from go while going backwards same as going forwards I assume you have it on, you at least own it on Steam, right, Darian? I streamed it with uh, Wicker, Wickersham. That was his first time playing the game not too long ago. Gotta get it. It goes on sale constantly. It's like 90% 90, 90 off for like a dollar, dollar fifty right now.
I am genuinely curious how many people will actually make stuff on the workshop for it, considering the age of the game. Like, I don't know how much of a community it still has, given that... Well, I was a... I was pretty heavily involved in the community. Back in my day, I think one of the handful of forums that I was on was the uh, Behemoth Forum, so I was like... I was following Castle Crasher stuff. I would hang out on the Behemoth, I would hang out on Adult Swim forums, Neo Seeker. I promise I'm not getting distracted, I just aren't, I really have no idea what I'm doing. Maybe if I go down and then back up again, I can work something out. Almost a Castlevania piano line in the background of this track. What if I go off real slow and I rotate? Yeah, like, like, yeah. Yeah, rotate. Yeah. Get rotated. This gotta be good for the bike. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, we have the technique. Why am I... Okay. I'm, I'm like, I'm rolling because, I don't know. I, I feel like I should, but I shouldn't. Alright. Easy. Uh, Darian. Opinions on Dawn of Sorrow. No particular reason. I just I'm, I'm thinking about like Nintendo games that force their gimmicks with like the uh, the Wii motion controls and the in Dawn of Sorrow's case the DS touchscreen. I don't know quite how forced it was. I just I've heard bad things about uh, like you got to you got to draw a sigil. To fully defeat bosses, otherwise you have to fight them all over again. Thank you for that checkpoint. Oh god, whatever's next can't be worse. Can't be worse. much that I, I had that Full Metal Alchemist game, the beat-em-up on the DS. I don't remember how much that, that utilized the touchscreen. I'm sure there was at least some degree of, like, drawing transmutation circles in the game. There's no way that wasn't a mechanic. pointed out how difficult it would be to port to modern consoles because of that. It, it just, it sounds unnecessary. Granted, I'm you know, a total outsider, I hasn't even seen the game played, but, like, you could just have the boss fight and not have the sigil element. Could you not? <laughs> Imagine Mario 64 DS being ported back to console. Announcing Mario 64 DS Switch. Just 
Just flailing till it works. That's the plan. That's the game. If you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be tough. Oh, the, the level on uh, in Trials 2, I think it was. In, in, in Inferno, the first Inferno. Started with a uh, started with an obstacle exactly like this. That was almost it. I'm, I'm gonna be real. I don't know who the audience is for these streams at all. Someone, who, someone who was watching my uh, Majora randomizer run made a comment that uh, my randomizers were relaxing to listen to. Which, if it's just me by myself without Jack, that's that's usually kind of the case. You know, I'm just, I'm, I'm a quiet guy. Relatively. Not for trials, though. In trials, I'm a loud, annoying idiot. These streams are just extended periods of nothing, followed by me, my, by me screaming. I don't know who this is for. But hey, if you're here watching this, then thanks. I wonder how difficult the other, uh, the later Trials games are. I imagine they're all more or less of comparable difficulty, all the Trials games, but, uh... I probably never, I just never got to the, the final levels of the other ones. For people who yearn for 2010's nostalgia. Well, this game is definitely that. If not NT's nostalgia. When was, uh, what year was Let the Bodies Hit the Floor? That was like the peak of the new metal craze when I was in school. I wasn't into it, but my, bro my little brother was. He was like two years younger than me. So that would have been... I guess that would have been, like, 2011, 2012, right? Oh yeah, 100 faults. New record! Maybe it got a second, maybe it got a, like, a second life from the internet. I'm thinking of, uh, I'm thinking of anime music videos. I'm thinking of that era of YouTube. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I gotta do two, I gotta do another little jump after this, this little stupid thing. Please, 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 please. Yes, that counts. I don't care. I love getting checkpoints like that. I've been thinking about going back and watching, uh... Well, I, I learned recently that, uh, the Diggy Diggy Hole song originates from a Yogg's Cast Minecraft? Like, improv meme? I was thinking about, like, going back and watching them, just because I have never done so. 
But then another part of me thinks, well, it, it's too late to get into Yogg's, Yogg's cast Minecraft. It's 2024. What are you doing? There's probably like 800 episodes. That must be so cool for them, though. That some, like, stupid joke they make on a Minecraft stream became this, like, fully... That someone put time into making this a full, legitimate song. And that's kind of awesome. I had a friend who was really into Yogg's cast. I'm only even really aware of them because they uh, they did some stuff with uh, Awesome Knots. One of the one of the guys voiced Skuldir and had a uh, Skuldir skin in the game. Uh, 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 no, get up, please, get up. At least this game doesn't have the wacky bike physics of I think it was I think it was Trials 2. That was the one where the like one of the wheels could like spin around and smack you in the face. I think that's the or maybe that was the previous one. Maybe that was uh Was Trials 2 the previous one? Are we only on the third Trials game? I think, I, I think we are. Okay, yeah, that must have been Trials, too. Oh, that's explosive. Does this level ever end? Time le what do you mean, time left? Oh, I can time out? If I go 30 minutes, they say, no, you're done, start over? I didn't know that. I've never- I've never gotten the time left warning before. Alright, well, that's two levels down. Uh, I'm not look- oh, no, not you again. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to Inferno 2. Groundhog forever. Oh. Uh, I mentioned OBS updated just before this stream. Apparently they now have, uh... They now have multi-video track? Something or other? I'm curious if I would be able to set that up, because then... I would be able to have, uh... If I can do it on OBS end... I can have multiple video qualities on Twitch, regardless of whether Twitch wants to uh, provide them or not. I think. That's how it sounds like it works. Uh. Oh, it's a big jump. That's a really big jump. I'm gonna have to wheelie up the ramp, but not so hard that I, uh... Not so hard that I flip over. There we go. There we go. Because by wheelieing, you get more speed. Due to having less drag of your front wheel not being on the ground. That's right, Crash 3 was based on real motorcycle physics. Okay, maybe maybe one jump is not the way to go. Maybe I should, like, uh, bounce on that middle piece. Maybe. I, I don't know if that'll be easier or not, to be honest. Oh, it's so close.
Gotta let one of the funny deaths play every now and again. At least. I have to land on it just right if I'm gonna do the bounce, though. I don't know if that is the way to go, or if, like, just a wheelie jump would be better. I gotta make a wheelie big jump. I'm sorry, I made that joke last time. What does this music sound like? It's like a little bit Steven Universe music. And a little bit like YouTube infomercial music. God damn- No, I made it! What? Yeah, swim. Make it. You can go. Reach the checkpoint. Is that how that works? What if it does? Keep flailing. Go. Make it. Come on. A little further. Yeah. Yeah. Swim. I, I don't think this is going to work. I don't think this counts. Damn. I totally made that jump, though. Okay, so I back off, and then I lean forward just as I go off the ramp. I think... I think that's the method. Hmm? Yes! Good. And now I gotta hop. I don't even have, like, a ledge to work off of. It's just a platform. I'm so bad at bunny hopping in this game. It's such a vital skill, and I can't do it. Why is there... Why is there little turtle signs? Is that a different level in the background? Is this... Does this map have multiple levels on it? Oh, somehow that worked. Well, this is just the... This is just the same obstacle as the first level again. And I've gotten no better at it. What is a game that would benefit... Going back to Castle Crashers. What is a game that would benefit the most from a Steam Workshop or any kind of user-created content portal? My guess, my, not guess, but my figuring was that the only way that Smash 6 would be able to top Smash Ultimate without having all these characters return would be to add user-created content, which they never will because it's Nintendo, but I figured that's the only way they would not shoot themselves in the foot with a game reducing the roster. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if Tenkaichi 4, sparking whatever it is, will have a character creator. Because that's kind of a thing that started in Dragon Ball games after Tenkaichi 3. The Xenoverse games had that, I believe. 
That'd be cool, the first Tenkaichi game to have a character creator. Not like a character builder, where you build stats for an existing character, but a fully, like, custom character thing. Why, why is this causing me so much difficulty? I've done this before. I've done this before on this, on today's stream. Ultimate Tenkaichi, Xenoverse, and Breakers. Okay. Which one had the uh, Team Four Star guys in it? Was that Xenoverse? I remember there was like uh, one or two of them were uh, some of the some of the custom voices. I think Dragon Ball Fusions also you played as your own your own custom character, if I remember correctly. What a shame, the, uh, the relationship between those guys and Funimation. Because Funimation still doesn't, like, officially condone them in any way. And, you know, there's, the, there's always been the argument of, well, a bridge series, you know, bring attention to the original series and then drive up sales as a result. And I generally agree with that, but it's also, it is kind of gray in the cases of the biggest ones. Like, how many people just never watched the actual Dragon Ball Z because they watched Dragon Ball Z abridged? And it really is just a good enough approximation of the series that you don't have to watch the original if you've seen that version. It's not a perfect approximation, but you get the, you get the story beats. I think that's a... a that is a way that a lot of people experience the series. Probably the same probably goes for Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. But that's also impossible to quantify. Like, how do you measure how many sales you've lost to uh, people watching an Abridged series instead of your version? Not like anyone has paid for anime in 20 years anyway. Remember how they managed to bring on the Ocean Vegeta VA for Copy Vegeta? Apparently they were going to do the same thing for Goku Black, but Sean Schemmel actively pushed against it. Well, what, why... Why would he? See, that's not like, uh... That's not like an abridged scenario. Unless they're talking about, about like, hey, Pete, we don't want people to remember or watch the Ocean dub, because that they could be watching our dub instead, and we could be making more money. I, I don't know why Sean Schemmel would do that, unless, like, he just wants another role and more money for himself. There were also multiple, uh... The thing is, between those two... Brian Drummond stayed as Vegeta for the entirety of the Ocean dub, but uh, there were multiple Gokus. I think Peter Kalamis was the first one, better known as the voice of Rolf. He stopped voicing Goku to focus on his career as a comedian. Someone else took over. I don't remember who the second one, who the second Ocean dub Goku was. And then the third one was Kirby Morrow, who I know as the voice of Moroku in Inuyasha. And I believe he was the final Ocean Goku. Peter Klamus was the one. Okay, he's probably the one that people know best as the Ocean Goku. I've just, coincidentally, I've been looking into the Ocean dubs recently, just, just for fun. And I'm thinking of, I'm planning to watch the 13-episode uh, Ocean dub of Dragon Ball, the original series that never got, you know, it never got any attention. 
I don't think it aired on television. It just it just failed. But it did get a home media release of those 13 episodes. And like Ocean Dragon Ball Z, it had like a fully original soundtrack for it and everything. So I'm really curious to watch that just to see like what was censored and how in early Dragon Ball. Then there's the ocean dub of Dragon Ball Z, and as I learned, uh, there was some kind of outcry about some co some countries didn't like the Funimation dub when Funimation took over after the ocean dub ended. And so there exists another dub, the Westwood dub, that gets some of the ocean actors back and continues from, like, season four or something, wherever that is. It's somewhere in the, in the Cell Saga. So there's a gap, but there is also a continuation of the ocean dub, more or less, from the Cell Saga onward. And then there's also an ocean dub of Dragon Ball GT called the Blue Water Dub. Which I thought was just they changed the name of the studio from Ocean Group to Blue Water, but it might be like a different studio or a sub-studio. I'm not positive. Again, I promise I'm paying attention. This wall just really is giving me this much trouble. And now I know I have a half-hour time limit for these levels. Please, please, please get up. Ocean Group is such a bizarre mixed bag. Well, I guess not. I guess it's just depending on how old the dubbing project is. They started off pretty, like, uh... Like, people don't hold the uh, Ocean Dragon Ball in particularly high regard as a dub. Though I don't know how much of that is, like, the acting and how much of it is just purely because of the censorship, which was very silly. But their early dubs are pretty corny. But a lot of early anime dubs from any studios were pretty quality. Darian and I are watching Slayers by NYAV Post, the same studio that dubbed Pokemon, and both of those are really campy, early, bad dubs. But studios get better over time as they learn their craft. An Ocean Studio... As they went on, Ocean Studios would dub Inuyasha, Death Note, My Little Pony. Much better sounding well, they didn't, they didn't dub My Little Pony, but they provided the audio. That was their group of actors. Though from Kai onwards is Funimation. There was... I didn't read the full details, but apparently there was an attempted ocean dub of Kai that didn't make it off the ground. I'm curious what the story of what with that is. I guess this whole interest in the uh, the various dubs kind of bounces off my recent interest in the various composers of Dragon Ball, of which there are many, many, many composers, particularly in localizations of the Dragon Ball franchise. To give a brief history, there was obviously the original composer for Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, the Japanese one. And then in English, there was one guy who did the uh, the ocean dub of Dragon Ball that didn't go anywhere. A different guy, uh, Shuki Levy, did the ocean dub of Dragon Ball Z soundtrack, which was very like Tom and Jerry, incidental, cartoony stuff. But it was the trendsetter. That's kind of the English Dragon Ball soundtrack that other localized soundtracks would follow. Funimation used Bruce Falconer 
His is probably the most well-known of the English soundtracks. And then after the Boo arc, after they finished the series with Falconer, they had another guy for Funimation. When they went back and redubbed the the early arcs of Dragon Ball Z, because they hadn't dubbed those originally, Ocean had. So there's yet another composer for the early Funimation localized dub. And then yet another guy entirely, Mark Menza, for the Dragon Ball GT American soundtrack. It's so many of them! Oh, and then there's Kenji Yamamoto, is the guy who does many of the Dragon Ball games and did the Dragon Ball Kai soundtrack. Who is widely, like, known for blatant plagiarism, but that aside, like, stylistically, is does, like, a really fitting style for the Dragon Ball franchise. Oh, come on. Come on! Uh, Darian, you showed me the, the Frieza theme. Uh, well, I mentioned that, uh... Bruce... I, I love Bruce Falconer's soundtrack, just... It's, so much of it is, like, earworms. A lot of it's forgettable, but a lot of the, like, character themes are, are just really memorable. And he did these awesome themes for Cell and Boo, and Frieza just never got one. There wasn't, like, a, uh, he, there wasn't a leap motif for Frieza. Apparently Yamamoto had, like, an insert song for Frieza or something. I don't really like insert songs in Dragon Ball after the original series. I don't know how unpopular opinion that is. It just feels like a thing that other anime do, not Dragon Ball though. Especially that weird, uh, that weird dub of the Ultra Instinct th song. The insert song with like lyrics. AB Group did the movies instead of Ocean. Okay, I thought the big green dub was a, like, a different dub of the entire series. That's just a few movies was the big green dub. And none of this is even talking about Made for Asia dubs, which is always their own totally different category, and they're funny as fuck. The Malaysian dub of Dragon Ball Z is fucking amazing, and I encourage anyone who is unaware of it to look up some clips. Uh, I don't remember which company or dub it was, but there's also a Made for Asia One Piece dub that is very silly. It occurs to me how afraid certain studios are of the Boo Saga. I don't know if they're they're afraid, but yeah, it. I guess because that's where the original manga stopped for a while. I don't know. I mean, you're right in that a lot of Dragon Ball media does just kind of stop after the Cell Saga. For the longest time, I had heard or been told that uh, the manga ended after Cell. And then Boo was anime original, and then they did the Boo Saga in manga form. But I don't think that's true. I think that's misinformation. I'm wondering if there was at least, like, a hiatus between the Cell and Boo sagas, though, in the manga. This is where all the Dragon Ball fans accumulate, right? This is the right place for Dragon Ball talk, the Trials Evolution stream. I'm sorry if you're just here for Trials and don't care about anime. I, just, I need to find things to talk about when I'm doing this. I'm, I'm not gonna finish this level. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the 30 minutes. I'm trying to bounce on the thing with the the wheelie. Maybe that's not the way to go. Maybe I should land on it like that. Yeah, 
just plan to go all the way through the Boo Saga. Well, he definitely planned for Gohan to take over as the main character. Like, he was trying to do that multiple times. And trying to find ways to make it work, and he just never really could. I wonder at what point during the Boo Saga he decided to just bring it back to Goku. People complain about that saga being meandering, and it kind of is, but... It's still my favorite of the of the of the Z sagas, just because it's the most fun of the Z sagas. They really pushed for main main character Gohan with the ending of the Cell Saga, but uh, I wonder if at any point he was thinking about having Goku just, like, stay dead after the Frieza fight. And then Gohan would be the character after that. This is not me, like, making a statement based on anything. This is just me wondering out loud, is all. I know it. I'm gonna have to do all that over again. If I have to do this level again, then I'll move on to the next one and then come back. Maybe I'll come back to uncompleted levels after I do the other levels on this stream. Do you think Darkseid Phil would ever play Trials? Do you think he would enjoy Trials? I don't think he would like this game. I think this game would make him irrationally angry. Well, as much as any other game, at least. I gave one of these games to Jack, but I don't know if he'll ever play it. He might also become irrationally angry at Trials. Uh, Wickersham is going on a vacation for the entire month of August. So I may... I may host uh, Smash streams on Fridays in his absence. I, I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Please, please. Uh, we have less than five minutes remaining. This sucks. This stream is going to be awful if we're spending half an hour on every level. What, uh, what... Is there anything in particular that makes DSP bad at video games? Like, he doesn't... He doesn't grump it, does he? He doesn't, like, math through tutorials and then get angry at not knowing things. There's some games that you can just... You can't imagine anyone being bad at, but then... Like, you give the controller to Grandma, and she can't even, like, walk and move the camera at the same time. Or walk and jump at the same time. Not even Grandma, just, like... 
Well, I was gonna say parents, but I guess that that would be my parents because I'm old. If you grew up with parents who play video games, I want you to know how lucky you are. Ah! 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 Please, please, please. Uh. It's not even gonna matter if I get the checkpoint at this point. I don't even know if I've got the right idea. Like, I decided to do this a little while ago instead of the bunny hop thing, and it seems like it's working out a little better, but... I mean, I still haven't made it, so I guess it's not working out any better. Please, 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 please. Uh, my parents play, like, a couple NES games at most. My dad made an effort one single time to, like, bond with me over a modern video game. And I tried to I tried to play Ocarina of Time with him, but uh, he just he just walked out of the room after five minutes because he thought the tree talked stupid. And that's my experience trying to bond with my parents over video games. I don't care. I'm going to go until the 30 minutes because god damn it, I need to I need to it's a matter of principle now. I'm pressing the buttons and the game's not doing the things that I tell it to do. Yes, you you have mentioned that Dragon Ball Z anecdote. Jack worked a, uh, worked a 16-hour shift. Y yes, I did it! 30 seconds, let's go! What the fuck? Oh, come on, come on, come on! I wonder how far I was. I can't move the camera, I can't even see. I must have been within a couple checkpoints, surely. Pass the track to get bronze. Epic fail! Ugh. Ugh. Ugh I felt that cringe. All right. We'll come back to that. If we have time at the end of the stream, we'll come back to any levels that <laughs> we hit the 30-minute timer for. I'm really hoping that's the only one. And technically, we probably spent more than 30 minutes because I would... If it's the first checkpoint, I'm gonna do this and, like, reset to the beginning. Could try another bike, I guess. Could try one with uh, one of the better accelerations. Come on, come on, yeah! Oh boy. If there's a swinging log, really? Is that necessary? No, we got this, we're good. I'm feeling lucky. 
if I got a checkpoint doing that, I'd be so happy. Okay, what 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 the hell, hell am I doing here? I got I gotta make it up, but not fall straight down onto the onto the explosives somehow. But there's not enough platform for me to like bounce back. That's not possible, I don't think. I can't like just poke it with my wheel. No, that's not gonna happen. I just need to hit it with more speed, I guess. I almost landed with my rear wheel back on the thing. This is gonna this is gonna eat a lot. This is gonna eat a lot of time. Maybe I can do a, a cool flip. Maybe that's what- Yeah! Yeah! Flips! Flippy shit! Yes! That's the- that's the trick. That's how you do it. Oh, there's more explosives. Oh, I gotta do this in one go?! Okay. Sometimes I just dead stop on the thing, and sometimes I get to roll up it, and I'm not sure what the difference is. Okay, so I want to I want to fall down safely here, so that I can then build speed on that stretch. I think. Nope. Back. 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 I wonder how moddable these games are. I wonder if you can insert your own soundtrack into a Trials game. Okay, here we go. Maybe not. Maybe that's not the plan. Maybe I just need to bunny hop off the pillar. That's going to be real tight, if so. I wonder if there's a fault limit. I wonder if you hit a certain number, like 999 faults, it says, too bad. Waluigi time. Ah, 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 ah! Where's the checkpoint? Give me a checkpoint! That's such a long stretch! What the fuck? I really shouldn't be watching deaths because that's eating into my now limited 30 minute timer. Uh. 
Okay, so I gotta land that, and then I can successfully bounce over those as well on the ground. Which means I need enough speed to uh, move swiftly over them. Oh, I made it. Where am I landing, though? And then I gotta go down those tires, too? Where's the checkpoint? It would probably be better for me to do these levels immediately after failing them. Instead of coming back at the end of the stream when I've forgotten the whole level layout. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just saying it'd probably be better. Okay, so then there's those two tires. I wish I could at least see the next checkpoint. It looks like there's two tires and then another explosive past the two tires. I gotta have so much backward speed to get over those. Okay, and then I keep, I always rotate, and I hit that stupid mesh is what keeps happening. I make fun of this track, but it, it, this music track. But I do like it compared to a lot of the other music in this game. I don't even particularly like, dislike new metal. It just kind of feels like nothing new metal, the stuff in this game. Like they couldn't get the big, the big bands or the big songs. So it's just kind of just generic stuff for a video game. Maybe I'm talking out of my ass. Maybe they are like big tracks that I should be aware of in Trials Evolution. I was feeling good about that one. I felt like I finally had, like, the stability to not roll down the mesh. And then I explode. What? Uh, no, I hit it! Go over! Dick. You can also tell when I'm annoyed with a video game because I lose my, uh... I lose my controlled, deep narrator voice, and I fall into my normal speaking voice, which is all nasally and awkward. Believe it or not, I make a conscious effort not to sound like that.
Now I can't even hit the tower over anymore. What changed? There we go. Oh, that's something we gotta stream soon, is a Tony Hawk 5. That's on the back burner. Okay, checkpoint. Thank God. Oh, oh no. What is this? Okay, so that one is... I'm supposed to go back on and fall down to the third tire. I see. Oh, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Get to the checkpoint. Go! Explosion. We're making progress, though. This is fine. That was a nightmare stretch, that pillar. This is tough, but doable. I, I can do this part. It's even doable in, in uh, one run, I'm sure, but... I'm gonna play it safe and catch my speed on these ramps. Alright, new checkpoint. Here we go. That's a Mortal Kombat pit. Oh boy, what is this? What is this stupid series of pipes? I can already tell this is gonna be awful. Oh, this is gonna suck. What happened was Toriyama did initially plan on making Go on the main character. As time went on, he feel, felt like he didn't bring the part. Yeah. Oh, that's that part's fairly common knowledge. I'm surprised you weren't aware. I don't. I also don't know how popular Gohan was with fans. I'm sure he had fans, but like. It's hard to make a character like that as endearing, because Gohan's thing was always that he didn't like fighting. Which is kind of antithetical to Dragon Ball. Well, this will be the next 15 minutes. People thought it was fan pressure. Eh, I wouldn't think so. I think from Gohan's inception, there were obviously signs that he was, like, being prepped as a new, like, big character. He got as much or more, like, in very early Dragon Ball, he got as much or more, like, uh, promotional screen time than Goku did. The, like, the theme song, the Dragon Ball Z theme song. Or the opening sequence is, like, all Gohan perspective. He's got his little Chinese outfit running around on the dragon. If you just watched the intro, you'd think he was the main character. I don't even really know what to do here. Yeah, I know. I know there's 15 minutes left. Okay, so I need to, like, hop up onto the first one. But maintain a wheelie onto all of the subsequent ones thereafter. S 
somehow. That's such a big ask compared to everything else prior. Uh, 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 uh! Yeah, I'm a gamer. Easy. Easy level. Baby could do it. Oh, wait, is that a unique death down there that I saw? Is our squirrel here? Looks like there could be a squirrel, but I don't have the time to spare. I wonder if that one previous trials video, I wonder if that's still nailed with the Burl Ives song I played. Going down the road feeling bad. That got, uh, that got VOD claimed. My, uh, one of my Zelda randomizers. Some dude who did a cover that sampled the Zora's Domain music claimed it as his song because Zora's Domain plays in Majora's Mask. I disputed it, but here's hoping because, like, all the power with disputes is by the, is in the hands of the person who files the dispute because YouTube is a piece of shit, but... I find in most cases, this whole thing's automated and people don't even, like, check their disputes. So, like, if you dispute it at all, there's a decent chance they'll just never see it and the 30 days will pass and you'll, you'll get your way, but... Well, I'm sure it wasn't even him personally that did it. He's just in this automated system that made a mistake, and no one, no human watches over any part of the process. It's just people have this so that they can uh, they can automatically claim as many videos as possible and get this trickle of income from, like, so many of them. It's one of those systems that is contingent on people not paying attention or not caring because it's all automated. Anyway, hey, I beat the level. That's the Trials HD Extreme, 18%. I only got three bronzes, and one of them I couldn't even get bronze. I'm gonna go to the, I'm gonna go to the evolution levels. How many of those are there? Casually talked over that and said, what, the, like, the swinging stuff? I mean, there was swinging stuff earlier in the level. Oh, this is a lot. Inferno 3! Ah! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We couldn't even do four. Well, we're an hour twenty in. This might be two streams. I'll see how many of these I can do. I need some water. All right, that was a good drink of water. I also mentioned this last stream, but I love that if I hit the return to checkpoint button, it functions the same as if I'd hit the start level over button because it's the first checkpoint and they just assume you might as well have restarted the level. And it's infuriating how many video games don't do that. Like, uh... Oh, Crash Bandicoot comes to mind. Because you gotta do, uh, you gotta do a lot of stuff deathless in those games. But if you die, and still start, you haven't gotten a checkpoint yet, and you still start over from the start of the level, logically that should count. But it doesn't. You have to go through the loading time of going back to the level select and back into the level for no goddamn reason to start in the same place. A million games do it, and it's so frustrating because it's so obvious a thing that they shouldn't be doing. I'm 
doing a I'm doing the Zelda GameCube games retro achievements now. I did, I finished Wind Waker, which did not have any boss achievements, but uh, Twilight Princess does. And boss achievements in Zelda games are annoying because the games weren't designed for you to get back to bosses quickly. Usually, if you have to reset your game, you have to walk back to the boss from the start of the dungeon. Actually, Wind Waker would have been probably the best one to have boss achievements because it has, like, the, the jars that you can skip straight to the, the boss in. You have Uku in Twilight Princess, but she'll only take you to the final room before the boss. And sometimes they put long, stupid puzzles in those rooms, so you still have to do the entire pre-boss room to make another attempt. I'm rambling. I'm, I'm, I'm annoyed at dumb video game decisions. Anyway. This is causing me more difficulty than expected. This seems like it would be pretty straightforward. I'm just, I'm just not getting enough speed. Okay, I'm gonna back up. That's what I'll do. I'll, I'll rebuild speed. No? That gave me even less speed. Maybe not. Maybe I just need to go full ham. Maybe that's the solution. No? Getting the same jump distance. That was almost it. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I'm thinking two streams for these. I may have underestimated the extreme levels a little bit. It's a shame because I really want—I would like to be finished with this game and move on to the, the next one, but uh, that's all right. I'm also planning to do, uh, I still got, like, two Book of Mario streams left, and I'm planning to do, uh, Link's Crossbow Training soon, solo. That'll be a, a solo Zellrog stream. I don't know how long that game is, if that'll be one stream or more. a couple more people. Hello. We now have uh, Twitch emotes, which are free. They used to be sub-only, but uh, Twitch now lets you have five free emotes. I wish YouTube did. YouTube still only has emotes for uh, subscribers, so that's a little bit lame. Well, if regaining speed doesn't help, I might as well just maintain speed. I think that's what I did the one time I made it to the third one. Hmm? This series of games has a very, like, dedicated competitive community. Of which I am definitely not a part of, but, uh... It's cool to have such a dedicated community. I just, I wouldn't be able to compete on that kind of level. I do hope they make another one after the most recent. After uh, Trials Rising. And I hope it's not the same, like... Complicated Ubisoft bullshit with the UI. Because I would like to get in, like, on the ground level on one of these games. A little bit. I've said that about GTA 6 as well. I've never played a GTA game, but the, uh, the online community looked like enough fun that I might want to, like, try it. No interest in single player. I, I don't care about, like, single player GTA. 
I care about the stupid stuff like the Hot Wheels tracks and, and the parkour map, so those look like fun. I think I also heard they're doing a, uh, they're working on a Red Dead 3. Don't quote me on that. I, I am just really struggling to get over these logs for some reason. You know what? For the first time, I'm going to try another bike. Let's see what difference it makes. Let's try the one with full Excel. Let's try the Phoenix. Now, it says it has the mo- Th those stats mean nothing. Those stats are completely bullshit. But, uh, because the one after this, the, the micro donkey, is supposed to have, like, just generally lower stats, but if you hold accelerate, you'll flip over. It, it goes so fast under you. Yeah, I, I, okay. Acceleration was the way to go for that jump. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Well, maybe it's worth using trying this one on that uh, level we failed before. Uh, that's a uh... squirrel. Go back. Go forward. No, go back. Damn it. This sounds like royalty free, like metal music for your YouTube video. This is what plays in the background of someone like uh, working at a at a car shop on on one of those like uh, one of those shows that you see at the dentist's office. They always play those kinds of daytime TV shows at, at like public offices. I guess just because they're generally inoffensive. A lot of house flipper shows. What did I do that one time that I haven't been able that I haven't been doing since? Maybe lean lean forward off the jump. That's why I'm not that what I'm not doing. Okay, so wheelie and then lean forward off the jump. That's it. Man! No, I hit it! I really should just be doing that every time. That's like a basic trials practice. I don't know at what point I stopped or why. Okay, there we go. Maybe I'll just get really good with this bike, and we'll just breeze through all the other extreme levels. Maybe there's still hope. See? Easy! Uh-oh. Nope. Back off. Start over. that the levels don't get quite this difficult in Trials Fusion because I gave that game to Nick and I want him to enjoy it. They probably will, though.
No, 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 get over. Ah. I eased up on the gas when I shouldn't have. I landed on the pipe at a bad angle. Please, please, get up. Ah. Something about this level reminded me of Pal World. I don't know why that just suddenly came to my mind. Maybe it's just like everything looking like Unity assets or something. What if they made an intentionally shitty-looking Trials game? What if they went full Bennett Foddy and just made, made Trials but a B game? I get- well, you know, actually that would just be Happy Wheels, so let's not do that. I just, I lose all speed after the first bounce. I came so close that one time and I just can't replicate it. Okay, maybe I need to regain speed. Maybe I need to stop on that middle thing. I, I don't, I know I don't need to. I know it's possible without doing that, but... Seems like that might be easier for my case. If you lean too far forward, you risk that happening and you lose, uh, your back wheel comes off the ground. I appreciate these games for being hard but fair. They're not complicated. They don't really have a learning curve in terms of, like, the mechanics. They just have a learning curve in terms of getting good. I'll bet Bennett Foddy would love Trials. Yes, yes! Okay. Oh, uh, what's this? Are we going down? No, we're not going down. That's a death. Uh, get over. Get- Yes! Cheese it! It's not gonna, like, fly off or anything? Okay. I thought for sure I was gonna get abducted. Alright, out of the pit. Let's keep trying the Phoenix. These levels seem like they're gonna benefit from more, like, acceleration than raw speed. I can't wait to eat those words. Of course, if, if it accelerates too much, then the bike flips out from under you, and that's not good. We're back to this track again. 
How many songs are in this soundtrack? Doesn't seem like there's a lot. Why the epic zoom out? What's that about? Perfectly cut death animations. I need to insert, like, a public domain screen that cuts off in the middle of those. This particular track is so ill-fitting with every other piece of music in this game. I like, I like it. if I can safely stop there or not. Because whether I do or I don't, I don't seem to make it up this. people watching this have played the Trials games, or if there's anyone who this is their first exposure to them. Again, it's a fairly niche series. I feel, I feel this is one of those series that has a small but dedicated fan base. Although this one, at least, has still gotten, like, a steady feed of games. So, as far as, like, franchises go, this one's been eating okay. In fact, is Trials Rising the most recent one? Or was, uh... I think Trials of the... Did Trials of the Blood Dragon come before that? Or after that? That one, that one was kind of a misstep. It was like a, a spin-off of a spin-off... It was, a, it was a crossover with the Far Cry spinoff. Which, I guess, if you're gonna mix, like, two niche audiences... It didn't look like anything I'd be interested in, though. Uh, a lot of, uh... I guess not a lot, but anytime there is a franchise that has that kind of small, dedicated fan base, usually it stops getting games and, like, fans take over. That happens a lot. Like, uh, Sega... Well, Sega never stopped making monkey balls, but they stopped making good monkey balls. So, uh, as a result, there were a lot of fan monkey ball-like games. Such as Paperball, which we streamed. And uh, Marble It Up, which I played but did not stream. But uh, this recent Monkey Ball is supposedly very good. They, they finally had another hit again. F-Zero famously has not gotten a game since GX. And there have been some attempts to, like make an F-Zero-like game. But they all lack the... In my opinion, they've all lacked, like, the fun of F-Zero. The, the campiness. The colors.
I, f I don't even remember the names of them. I, I, I'm aware of at least two, but I don't remember what they're called. The uh, devs of... Some of the former devs of the Chibi Robo series recently branched off and started a Kickstarter to make a spiritual successor type game called uh, Korobo. Which is cool, but I also don't expect it to sell very well, because usually, if you have a series that is small and doesn't get games anymore, it's because it didn't sell well. Regardless of if the game is, like, really good or not. F-Zero GX is an amazing game, but it's also incredibly difficult and appeals to a pretty small group of people. Like, relatively. So, of course, they never sold that well. Ukulele was also kind of one of those stories. Although mascot platformers kind of never fully disappeared, and they even sort of had a renaissance... Even before Ukulele, the original one came out. But they were specifically banking on, you know, that appealing to the Banjo Kazooie fans, the uh the Collectathon fans. I think that had the potential to sell well. If it didn't have as many problems as a game edit as it had. Especially because uh, Hat and Time came out afterwards and was very successful for an indie game. Not like Undertale or Minecraft successful, but pretty successful. Mario Odyssey. Collectathons became cool again, to some degree. Although I have heard opinions on Mario Odyssey. Uh, souring a little bit now that the honeymoon phase is over. I don't know about souring, but, like, people don't think it's it's the best thing since sliced bread anymore. There's some more... more some more critical opinions have, uh, have arisen. I still like it. I thought it was a great game. I don't know if I'll ever play it again. Just because it's too damn big. I recently made an attempt to play it again, and I just I lost interest after after a few worlds. Because it's just too much to want to collect again. I'll play through it again when there's retro achievements for it. When we get to when we finally get to switch achievements, I'll give Mario Odyssey another run. I really am curious what games are going to look like in 10 years. Because, logistically, they just... They can't keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. There has to be an upper threshold eventually. Not just in terms of, like, the teams that make them or the budgets, but, like, phys the physical game worlds. Do we want a game world bigger than Tears of the Kingdom? Do we need that? Someone made a joke in a previous Trials stream about a f an open-world Trials game. And they weren't serious, but it is a funny thing to try to imagine. A game that is, like, on a 3D open environment, but somehow... Somehow exists on a series of 2D tracks. Because this game is all 3D environments. You're just on a 2D track in that 3D environment. And that's something that's pretty unique to Trials. Why am I struggling with this? Okay, if I get over this first gap again, I'll do the thing that I'm probably forgetting to do again because it's not like a muscle memory thing. I need to lean forward out of a jump. 
Except I kind of have to lean forward on any way to on this anyway to keep my wheels on the ground. So that's not going to be helpful. That is a deceptively difficult gap to make. starting soon. Thank you, Twitch. I have my, uh... We are now Twitch affiliates again. But I have my, uh... My ad settings set to pretty much default, because I, I don't really know how to... I know how to change them, but I don't know what would be, like, optimal for people. It's for ads, etc., etc. If I set them to a lower frequency, then the brakes last longer. So I don't really, I don't have control over the number, the ad time relative to the stream time. Okay, here, here we go. How much speed can I even get on this? If I try to wheelie at all, I'm gonna flip over. Is the problem? But that's the only way I can really gain speed that I can see. I can't even, like, maintain speed from the first jump. Because I still lose speed doing that. Maybe. Maybe I, maybe I should try to go the full distance. Yeah, uh, uh, oh! That would have been it if my back wheel had not come off the ground. Okay, here we go. Get up, get up, get up, please. Oh, I can like, uh, I can double accelerate if I use both the, the trigger button and the X button. Can I get extra speed that way? Hold on. Do I have a double speed function? Have I been sleeping on a speed boost that I wasn't aware that I had this whole game? I don't think so. That doesn't seem to be the case. There we go. I can't even imagine doing these levels faultless. The amount of practice that would take. And not even for any achievements. Why would anyone do this if not for gamer score? Well, I guess, no, they do have achievements on Xbox. I just don't get them on Steam. Dicks. Jack Patillo is the uh, main, like, big Trials fan that I know. And he's a big, nice, sweet guy, so I recommend his, uh, his streams for anyone who cares to check him out. Uh, okay. Can't go directly over the rock. Gotta, gotta go off the top of the rock. I need the support of Dwayne. Thanks, Dwayne. That's a good explosion. They really went all out with the wacky camera angles for this level. Unless it's always this position. Is this the same camera position as the last one? I think it might be. I, do, I don't even care about faults anymore. I'm just trying to save time. 
I don't need false hope if a run is unsalvageable. See, now we're seeing the acceleration of the bike accelerating too fast and flipping out from under me. Which means I have to go at less than full throttle. There we go. Alright. Only 183 faults. Just gotta get down to 35 for silver. 16 minutes. 2, 3, 4, 5... So we've done one, two, we've done five. We've finished five. We've attempted six. And we have six remaining, counting that one that we tried and didn't, didn't, didn't succeed at. That said, we're on the easier levels of the uh, evolution batch. The Trials HD batch was... Uh, well, no, nah, never mind. We're just on the easier levels of this batch, because the harder ones are going to be at the end. What is this? This is a huge jump. Okay, never mind. It's not that bad. Good voice. Why is he doing, like, a 70s, 80s hair metal voice? If this game is using, like, 2010's new metal as the soundtrack basis. What a weird... You see how this, this game feels like a weird conflict of times and interests. Like he's fucking Gene Simmons. Are there any other celebrities that have gotten Pokemon besides Gene Simmons? Have there been any other Pokemon, like, explicitly based off of, like, actors or rock acts or something? I can't think of any off the top of my head. Talking about uh, Obstagoon for those unawares. Depending on how long this level takes, I might call it after this one because this there's no way I'm doing all the rest on one more in this stream. And the acceleration bike is no longer even carrying us. Okay, checkpoint. Smack. Oh, it's a big jump. I wasn't expecting that to be quite a, such a big jump. Probably also a good time to end soon because I'm now out of commentary and now I'm just grunting. We've reached the grunt part of the stream. We haven't gotten, uh... We haven't gotten any news on that Pokemon XY, the Kalos Legends game. To my knowledge. I wonder when they're doing a, uh, a Pokemon Direct. Not that I'm uh, deeply engaged with the Pokemon franchise anymore anyway, but uh, I liked Kalos and it doesn't get a lot of love, so I'm at least a little bit curious how a Legends game turns out. Oh, that was it. If I just kept gassing. Stay gassy. Uh, no! The, uh... The 3D, I think it's 3D, Fairly Odd Parents sequel reboot 
thing came out. And people are talking about it. I guess the people who grew up on, uh, what? I was gonna say the people who grew up on the original are at that age, but I grew up on the original, so... You know what? It's because the... The new series stars the baby Poof. And I stopped watching, like, a year or two before that character happened. So now all the people who thought, oh, Poof was always a part of the show. People who started watching Fairly Odd Parents like 10 years in. That's the audience that, that are like eating this up. This new series. That show lasted way longer than it deserved to. I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion. Might not be. Uh, Jimmy Neutron holds up a lot better than Fairly Odd Parents does. I think that's why people meme it more. But it's not always the case, but usually, if a show has a lot of memes, that usually means it holds up as a comedy. Unless they're all ironic memes. Sometimes that's the case. F Fanboy and Chum Chum gets ironic memes. But, uh, even, even, like, in the early parts of the show, before Poof or before, like, it really, the show really overstayed its welcome, I always thought Fairly Odd Parents was very pandering to kids in terms of its, its, like, writing and humor. It's also very cynical. I love that, uh, so this is basically episode of, uh, Danny Phantom. Where they got, they, they, like, improv not improvised, but they made a custom scene. So this is basically every fight scene in Danny Phantom. And they got, I think they got Butch Hartman to, like, voice the made-up bad guy from that sequence. And it really was, it was so illustrative of every, st every stupid fight sequence in Danny Phantom. is just, like bad one-liners and no act no like tension in action I didn't even hate Danny Phantom but that's just like the Butch Hartman style is stupid one-liners that don't think their audience is very intelligent hey I did it ah uh, one two three four you know what I'm going to end the stream making one more attempt at that level that we backed out of. Let's try Groundhog Forever one more time. And depending on how this goes... Well, this will definitely be the end of the stream, but... Uh, and then we'll come back next time for those other... Those other four levels that we have left. Uh, this time we're using the Phoenix, so maybe it'll go better. Maybe the extra acceleration will help. This seems like a jump that it needs speed for. This seems like a jump that benefits from, like, max speed and not acceleration. But I'm sure I could still make it. Yeah, there we go. I can also try the Micro Donkey, if I really want to. The one that, uh, like, really easily sweep, like, just sweeps out from under you. I know I made it past this jump, but I don't remember how. I think it was just the classic trick of wheeling and then leaning forward out of the jump. Which there are some of the, some mini games in this game are totally built around that. One specifically where your goal is to just like bail as far as possible. 
I may not have the speed to do this in one jump like I could on the other bike. I might have to use the middle piece on this bike. It seems like it's going a little better. It's really hard to say. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Ah, oh, don't crash! Okay, so I made it. I didn't, I just didn't stick the landing. And if I don't stick the landing, he just bisects himself. I'm feeling lucky. I think we can do this level. Uh, it's really hard to land and not roll after this jump. Because I need to lean, like, fully forward just to make the jump. I'm sorry, is this a new metal song? I just heard, like, the screamo. I guess it is. Okay, I just, I completely missed that part of the song before now. Make it, make, no! Ah, oh, I leaned back too early! Because I didn't want to roll over! Okay, I guess the song isn't that ill-fitting in the soundtrack, then. Hold on. Trials Evolution Soundtrack. I'm just- I'm just curious if these are, like, real bands. Or if this is just, they got a dude to make new metal. Uh, it seems like they more or less got a couple dudes, yeah. Petri Alonko. Michael Reagan. Michael Reagan seems to be the main dude doing all this stuff. Petri Alonko. And Guglielmo Brunelli. That, that's a JoJo name. That, that dude sounds like he should be uh, fighting the crew in part five. <sighs> it's, a, it's such a precise jump to land on this bike because I can't make it in a single... I can't make it in a single bound like Superman. I wonder if the donkey could. I wonder if there's, like, some... Again, the stats on the stat screen don't really mean anything on these bikes. They're not really representative of what the bikes can do. So I wonder if maybe the micro donkey could make this jump, even though it has lower stats. On the stat screen. Oh, that was way easier, getting up that ledge with this bike. That was also way easier. Okay. Oh, this is going way better than the Scorpion did. This part might be tough. <sighs> they're, they're stingy with that particular checkpoint. They want to make, like, really sure that you land on your wheels up there. I have to start wheeling, wheeling at a very specific spot here. If it's too late, I smack into the wall, and if it's too early, I flip over.
but I have to be wheeling at the top or I'm not gonna like make get up there. Okay, here's the jump. This is the one that we spent a long time at. Gotta get my get my speed again. Oh, that was so easy on this bike. Oh, we got this this time. We're gonna get under a hundred even. Oh, that was so free! Alright. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. I got time. Let's try to finish this. Did I not do all the Death Valley tracks, or I just... I guess all bronze is only 40%. Yeah, okay. Let's finish this today. Four more tracks... They'll be breezy on the Phoenix. Easy peasy. It's the uh, Mary and Max level. No one's gonna get that, but if you do, that one's for you. Get up, get up, yeah! Oh, it didn't count. It says, it said the soundtrack had like, I don't know, 12 songs in it. But it feels like we're getting repeats way more often than that. Oh, okay. There's a pole down there. I thought I would be going down onto, like, a quarter pipe. Silly me. Well, why don't I just jump the street? I can make that. Why even go down? Bitch, don't put out anyway. I'm sorry. Not only was that a terrible joke, but I delivered it in the whitest way possible. Oh, okay, I got the checkpoint for that. I was so surprised I, I did an extra reset for no reason. Stable. Just gotta get stable. All, all these checkpoints on little, tiny, barely checkpoint-fittable platforms. Imagine riding a motorcycle up a situation like this. A, a downed power pole. I did the level on stream where I had to, like, ride over dynamite without blowing it up. Yeah, I did. I've done, well, I've done all the levels on stream. I think I got gold on that one, eventually. Not on stream, but I have gotten gold on several of the levels that I did on stream. This level seems alright. It's mostly, like, very small challenges with abundant checkpoints, which I like. I like abundant checkpoints. Oh, I don't like this, though. 
This is one of those mean jumps where I gotta do a bunny hit, a bunny hop on a on a slope. And I can't hold forward upon landing, or that happens. My back wheel bounces off. Actually, that happens even if I hold nothing, so I gotta hold back on landing. That's kind of counterintuitive. This area reminds me of Tony Hawk a little bit. I haven't been playing a lot of Tony Hawk lately, even on uh, Retro Achievements, just because those games are so tedious to complete. The first three, anyway, are just playing the same campaign mode over and over and over again. Some people are nostalgic for that format of Tony Hawk game. I don't really understand it. I, I loved when they finally switched to four. And whatever character you chose to play as, you didn't have to do the whole story over again with them. Well, here we have the roadblock of the level. This is where we're going to be spending our time, I see. So I have to hold back to land to keep my back wheel from bouncing off. But then I have to immediately hold forward in order to uh, not flip over from accelerating too much. And if I stop accelerating, I just fall down. So I can't really, like, rest in any way. I need to float immediately into getting that bounce up to the higher platform. Oh, 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 oh! It... Oh, I'm so glad that checkpoint procced. And then I just get kind of like a free checkpoint after that one. And we're back to... No, this is a di never mind. This is a different uh, this is a different track. This is the piano one. I get this this one confused with the S Steven Universe one because they both kind of stick out compared to the rest of this game soundtrack. Okay, well, hmm. How am I going to get enough speed for this? Is my back wheel coming off for some reason? If I lean forward, it comes off. Maybe I just need to, like, be very gradual in upping my acceleration up this thing. I think that's it. I just need to, like, gradually go up. This is the thing about Trials, is that all the movement is very finessed. And your fingers just kind of try things without you even, like, being fully conscious of what you're trying. Okay, let me, let me get, like, an angle started, and then... No, that didn't work. So what I'm doing is I'm starting leaning back, and then I lean forward once I'm on the ramp, and that's how you do it. That was almost cool. If I'd landed up there, that would have been awesome. Does it want me to go on top there? Is that what it wants? Yeah, it does. All right, I will obl I'll play your game, game. Oh, yeah, no. <sighs> that 
That looks like it should be very hard. But for some reason it's not. Getting onto this vent here. Please, 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 please. Ah! He's so sad. And once I'm on the vent, I keep accelerating too fast, is what's happening. Please. Oh! If I could just get over the rail, there's a chance I could just, like, glide to the finish line. Even on my back. Okay, there we go. Un un unneeded. Not necessary. Three more levels. Watch, we're gonna do these and then we're gonna unlock the ultra extreme levels. Oh no. Oh, this is just like the pipes again. But at least I have like a ramp to start out on this time. It's, I'm not starting the jumps with some absurd bunny hop. I might even be able to skip the first one. Yeah! I don't know what I expected to happen from going down there. Chuck Tingle has been up to. What, uh, what wacky things has he been writing of late? I don't know where that thought came from. I like this part. I don't like this part of the level. I wonder if we're going to reach a point where I'll give up on the Phoenix and I'll decide to try the Scorpion again. And if that will be a correct decision or if that will make all this even harder. It seems like I've been having a generally easier time since switching to the Phoenix. Despite me having a better experience on the Scorpion, getting golds in all of the previous levels, it seems like the extreme ones just kind of do benefit from the, uh, the extra acceleration. On, you can do it. Get on up. Everyone has those like uh, sound bites that just live in their head, rent free for their entire lives. Some of the uh, some of the worms, sound bank voices are those for me. I don't think I even really used a, a lot of the default sound banks, but I just, I heard them so much because, uh, I just, I played Worms Armageddon online so much.
All right. Doing good progress. What is this, our third to last level? Come on, come on. No! I wonder what some of the better, like, current games on the market for user-generated content are. Because I say this every time I mention Worms Armageddon, but that was, like, the selling point of the game. Was that you could do so much, like... You could do so much of your own stuff with it. In terms of the, uh, levels and the sound banks and everything. I wonder what this generation's game like that is. If they even have one, because it's not Fortnite. Fortnite doesn't have, like, modding. Does Among Us have modding? Rivals does, but, uh... I don't know how fully popular Rivals is. Eh, enough people play, but it's not, like, the game of all time. Rivals of Aether. I guess Grand Theft Auto still counts. How long ago did GTA 5 come out? That's something that people play, like, wacky custom shit online with. Which I mentioned was, like, that's the selling point of the game for me. That's what I think sounds cool about it. Mario Maker was, like, the... I don't know if it's the game of a generation, but it was a recent game that revolves around user-generated content. It would be so cool if they just buckled down and did a uh, an NES Remix-type Mario Maker with more than just Mario game-style playable. That would sell, like, gangbusters. If they had, like, a multi... multi-game Mario Maker, like Kirby and Metroid. If they can arrange it with other companies and, like, Mega Man. I wonder how Mega Maker is doing. That's a thing that, uh, is... exists and is pretty fully featured that, uh... Despite being fan-made, Capcom, unlike Nintendo, did not, like, shut down or anything. I guess because they don't have any plans of doing their own. That's usually when Nintendo gets really, really intense about going after fan stuff, is when they are making their own comparable thing. Okay, what am I doing here? I need to not only get up on this barrel, which is already fairly difficult, but I need to then, without taking a break, bridge that gap to the next bridge, to the next piece of wood. So in order to do that, I really need to get like a good angle at the top of the barrel. And my rear wheel keeps hitting it and messing with my angle is the problem. I don't have enough speed if I start from like a low angle on the barrel. Maybe I can maybe I can get up top and then like reposition myself a little bit. Maybe that's the game plan. Okay, just a little bit. Now get get up. And then no. I need to maintain speed like up and over the top of the barrel. I can't I can't like stop on top of it. Which doesn't seem to want to happen if I hit my uh, if I hit my rear tire under the barrel because that like interrupts my momentum. Wait, ah, that was almost it. If I could have caught my rear tire on the way up the barrel like that. Maybe. I would I would love to see a, a TAS of a Trials game. That would look so cool. Oh, please, please, no! Oh, I was so close!
I was kind of hoping I could do that thing where I, like, wheel over with just the back wheel. That's not going to work here anyway, though. Maybe I was wrong about that earlier segment. Maybe this is the obstacle of the level. This stupid barrel. These are pretty long levels. Considering that the considering the challenges they're asking in them. We having fun yet? I don't even know what I did that one time that I almost made it. I don't necessarily know what kind of music I would like to hear in a game like this. It's not terribly ill-fitting. I guess when I think of a soundtrack like this, I think of Tony Hawk. Which is not new metal, that's like pop punk. With some uh, rap in there. But, uh, like a Tony, Ho a Tony Hawk soundtrack would not be fitting for this game. It's kind of funny that Darian mentioned this game as being 2010s, because, like... I guess it's a type of 2010s, this, like, uh, this, this grungy and edgy kind of stuff. The wankst. Because the next game is also very 2010s, but in a completely different way. The next game is, like, wacky unicorns random YouTube shit. That's not the whole game, but there, there are elements of that in Trials uh, Fusion. And it's just, it's kind of funny to compare the, the stark difference between, I guess, early 2010s and late 2010s. It's such a contrast. I'm, uh, I'm re-watching... A Skyward Sword playthrough. That's making me want to play the game again. I hope they have, like, uh, Wii Retro Achievements sooner rather than later, since Dolphin is now a supported, uh, supported emulator. I've, currently, I mentioned replaying through Twilight Princess, and I realize a lot of the complaints people had about Skyward Sword also apply to Twilight Princess, Despite that being, like, at the time, an incredibly beloved game and the best-selling Zelda game of all time before Breath of the Wild. No one ever highlights it as a complaint in Twilight Princess that, like, uh, every time you reload the game, it needs to tell you what a blue and yellow rupee is the first time you pick one up. But you bet they'll complain about it in Skyward Sword. Please, please, please. Ah, oh, I should have just kept going. I should have just kept accelerating. Granted, if they do get uh, retro achievements for it, it'll be my first time playing the Wii version of Skyward Sword. Which I understand is much worse in many ways than the, uh, the Switch one. Faults left. Oh no, there is a fault limit. 500. Okay, so the limits are 30 minutes or 500 faults. I don't want to start this level over. I don't want to start any level over. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and do the last levels. It'll be a breeze. Ah, it's so close. 
I don't even know what voice that was. Maybe I've been a little too lax on my faults. Maybe the fault was in our stars. I'm gonna make it at 499 faults. And I'm gonna have to do a perfect run of the rest of the level. I keep making it so fucking close. With just my back tire barely off the wood. If this fails, I'll, uh, I'll switch bikes. Maybe I'll try the donkey. I don't know why, the donkey is like... It's joked as like the worst bike in the game, even though it's like faster than the worst one? I don't know. Please, please, yes! Oh, thank God. That's over, what's next? Another one of these stupid, like, bunny hops up a slope. Great. Now I'm worried about the faults. Now I'm worried that I can't just keep resetting forever. Which I can't, but man, I didn't have to worry about it before now. Now I'm stressed. How do I even? Okay. I'm gonna have to do, like, a very specific bounce of this. With a sufficient amount of speed. This sucks. I hate this part. I hate this part, and I hate the previous part. They're both awful. Surely Inferno 3 will be easier. Please, 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 please. I just want to get on up. Thank you. Oh, you just have to ask. Okay. Well, that wasn't so bad. Hated that. That level was awful. Are we on... Is this the last one, or do we have two more? We have two more. Way of the Ninja. A true Trials Ninja can master even the most challenging tracks. I don't think I want to be a ninja anymore. I don't want to fight in the, in the ninja war. Oh, what is this? Okay, just gotta bounce on the pipes, that's fine. I wonder if the faults limit is the same on every level, or if it depends on, like, difficulty ranking. Like, the easy levels have less than a 500 fault limit. Probably not, it's probably universal.
No, 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 no. Now, 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 now. This epic guitar music for this slow and careful gameplay. You've never seen anyone more cautious. What's the opposite of evil Knievel? Goodle McNoodle. I gotta I got maintain speed. I guess. Or I just have to land safely on the other side of the explosive, maybe. Because I'm, like, perfectly positioned. This jump sends you into that pit. Maybe a, maybe a backflip. Maybe that's the solution. Or maybe just a very careful jump. Except then you're positioned to go, like, straight onto your face, like that. And here come the faults. Like, there's no convenient way that I can land on the other side of this. Maybe I can make it. No, I can't make that in one go. That's way too far. So I need to land. I need to somehow land on the other side of this safely. Uh, uh. Somehow. I don't, I don't even know how I did that. And watch me fuck it up. Yeah, fuck it up. Have to do it over again. Don't even know what you did. Are we a Trials Ninja yet? The village hidden in the smoke. Village hidden in the grease. Jack and I were watching uh, Gendy Tartakovsky's Primal. The show about just a caveman going around beating the shit out of things. There's more to it than that, but that's also kind of more or less what it is. Uh, I made a joke about uh, a village of, like, ninja Amish. It's just, like, Stone Age technology. The village hidden in the caves. Spools. Okay, we're doing spools. Too cool for spool. Not as bad as it looks. Still not great. I don't like spools. Spools are annoying. No, don't fall now! Go back! Go left! Oh! I gotta do the spools again. Watch, I went over them easy the first time. Now I'm gonna struggle. This is designed for this. They, they knew when they play-tested this that people would be in this position and be unable to flip back to the left. Except, if they, if they swing a little bit, then they can flip over. Okay, there we go. Alright, what's this? What's next? That looked like it sucked. Get Roger Craig Smith to do a voice in the next Trials game. 
I want him to do, like, the fake stupid parody Sonic that people who make fun of Sonic do. <laughs> I want a Trials guy to go, Whoa! Chili Dogs! Imagine they... Do you think ever, Sega will ever be shitposty enough to, do, to put, like, a voice like that in a Sonic game? Just as a tongue-in-cheek option. Maybe for, like, a character creator, like in Sonic Forces. The only reason I think that's not a 0% chance is because of Sanic being in Sonic Forces. On the t-shirt. Sanic, the drawing, is canonically in a Sonic the Hedgehog game. And I love that. They can shitpost a little bit. I don't think we're gonna get any any good Sonic games anymore, but, uh... You know, they're allowed a degree of shitposting while still being able to say they're being- they're taking themselves seriously. Then there's the Bubsy threshold. So Sonic has not and should never reach the Bubsy threshold of trying to be a self-aware shitpost, because that always fails. I don't know if we'll ever get, like, reboots of, uh, any, like, uh, shitty Sonic knockoffs. Other than Bubsy. If you count him. Yeah, he, he's one of the, he's one of the, like, mascot characters that was trying to cash in on the... On the Mario and Sonic popularity. The two cool heroes. That was a huge thing on the Super NES and Genesis. Everyone wanted a mascot platformer. And more often than not, they would take all the, uh... They would take all the beats from Sonic, specifically, not Mario. Because it would always be a anthropomorphic animal that was too, school, too cool for school and had to tell you about how cool they were all the time. Like a Radical Rex. Awesome Possum. Uh, I think Rad Rodent was the name of one. Arrow the Acrobat at least didn't go on about how cool he was, but he was also one of those. It was, I, I don't think Arrow the Acrobat was a very good game. Okay, this is, this is a stretch without a checkpoint, I see. back to the peaceful music, which in any other game would mean this is the hardest part. Still, this level so far has been a lot more manageable than the one before it. Gex didn't get a remaster, but it did get, uh, it did get the, like, the recent ports to Switch. I don't know what else. I don't know if they came to any other, uh, like, Steam or anything. Hot take. Gex was, Gex is and always was shit. Sorry. I tried, man. I tried to get into those games, even when they were, like, fresh and new and popular. And all the references weren't incredibly dated. Okay, checkpoint. I didn't need to reset there. That's fine, I probably would have failed anyway. I'm not even at 100 yet, I don't need to be worried about resets. So I need to land and bounce on those spools. Yeah, just like that. Say it, do it, dream it. What a 
boxes. We're doing a bunny hop onto a ramp, onto a lean forward jump, onto death. Let me see if I can wiggle off. Yeah, swim, buddy. Swim. There we go. That was a good jump, and I whiffed it on the landing. Please, please get up. You're so close. I think I, I prefer playing these games with the uh, D-pad as opposed to the stick. Games like this that are just like uh, precision on a perfectly 2D plane, I think generally benefit from having uh, just purely digital left and right. Do up and down even do anything? In Trials 2, up was the go button, which was super awkward. I wish remappable controls were more intuitive. I tried making a, uh, I tried making a, a controller method for, uh, for that game. Using the Steam remapping function, and it just, it still just kind of didn't work for a lot of cases. Okay, we're up here. Now we gotta go slow. Ah, oh, no! Ah, oh, I was there! Alright, slow. But not too far back. Why is it so hard to land on that? And I'm on fire. You can live on fire for a little while, a little while. But if you slow down too much, you did, then you die. As long as you keep moving quickly on fire, you're all right. Uh, oh no! Please. Uh. Almost at 15 minutes. How lo I wonder, I don't know how long this level is. Maybe this is like the marathon gauntlet. Because the challenges have been generally more doable than the previous level. So that makes me wonder if there's just like a lot of them. If that's this level's gimmick. My back wheel was off the ground at the moment that I needed to stop. Nope. Go back. I need to get steady. There we go. I know! 15 minutes left! Okay. Okay. No! <sighs> they really, they have one more ramp before the next checkpoint. It, we're gonna like loop around. We're gonna do a whole nother loop around this area. I see so much of the track left. Oh no. I knew that was going to happen. 
I knew I was gonna die right there. I hope the I hope Trials Fusion has just more tracks in the soundtrack. That would be nice. Happened again. Back wheel was off the ground. That was the point where I'm past even grunting, and it's just, like, me being passive-aggressive with the video game. I have reached the dark side fill threshold. Except, I guess he's not really passive-aggressive, he's just aggressive. What are Dr. Disrespect is up to? kind of a gross gimmick, is to make your whole, like, billing about being toxic. Okay. We're safely here, now I just need to get up this little slope. We're good. Like, he got kicked off a of Twitch, didn't he? And then he, like, went to Mixer, and then no one watches Mixer, so probably doesn't have a lot of success there. Maybe he's doing YouTube now? I don't know. Okay, so now we have a tire, followed by a series of pl flat platforms. I'm gonna... Okay, now I'm starting to worry that I am gonna hit the 500 limit. I really did not consider there being any possibility of these levels being levels that I couldn't complete with enough determination. Which they're not, I can, but I didn't realize they would cut me off after 30 minutes or 500 faults. Now they're doing this thing where every obstacle has, like, its position to make it annoying to try to, like, stop afterwards. And yet also positioned such that you can't really just, like, keep going. You have to stop, but it's difficult to stop. You can't stop. Won't stop. Stop. Please. Checkpoint. Checkpoint. Yes! Like, I'm doing this slowly but surely, but I'm also going to run out of, uh, I'm going to run out of time. Can I get just, like, a baby mode where I have infinite retries and infinite time? I'll get there eventually. I know that about myself. Whoa! Too fast! I'm sorry, it's just such a corny voice. It reminds me of a corny Sonic impression. You know, the, stu the, like, the stupidest Sonic voice didn't even sound like that. But it was probably the, uh, it was probably the Urkel one. I forget, I'm sorry, I forget the actor's name, but the guy who played Steve Urkel also played Sonic in the, uh, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon. The really American one. With the meme Robotnik, the Pingus! That one. That was definitely the nerdiest Sonic voice. Which, of course it was. You got Steve Urkel to play him. What are you doing? This is supposed to be a cool character. And you got Steve Urkel to play him. Anyway, we beat the level. Great! Photo finish. Nothing bad happened afterwards. 219 faults. All events open. We have gotten all of them, right? This is the very last one. 
I just I'm second guessing myself now. Yeah, we did all four of the HD ones. There's stars on the tournaments because I haven't done all the tournaments, but those are just these are grand prix. These suck. I hate doing these. They just do four levels in a row. Does it show you what the levels are? No, it doesn't. All right, final level. God help me, Inferno 3. I'm going to stick with the Phoenix because I've been having good luck with that on these types of levels. That's a bad start. <laughs> That's an immediate bad start, this pipe bullshit. Not undoable, just annoying. We're doing a lot of these little wheelie hops. It's wheelie impressive. And wheelie difficult. So much so that I'm not even wheelieing anymore. Please, please, get up. Jack suggested an animated a uh, better start climbing emote. Which, that's... I don't think anyone even... We've explained that, that joke before, but I don't think anyone, like, remembers or cares what it's from. And I don't think anyone would use such an emote. That would be an interesting trials level if you just had to uh, get to the top of something really, really high. That's one of the uh, the skill games, kind of. It's just like it's uh, it's a giant continuous slope, and your goal is to get as high as possible. But I guess that would be difficult to do, is like a, a, a straight vertical shaft, because you don't really have a way to like turn around in this game. What if that's the big gimmick of the next Trials game? Turning 180 degrees. That could work, conceivably. I don't know how it would be imp implemented. Like, in terms of, like, physically. Unless it's, like, some some magical future tech thing. Where vi vi your Viper. Your driver just kind of, like, vaporizes and then reappears in the opposite direction. Actually, I'm down for that. That could be cool if the levels were designed around it. But it could also... I guess depending on how it's implemented, it could also risk, like, messing with the Trials formula too much. Wow, I'm having trouble with these series of pipes. still sleeping. Maybe I should try the scorpion. Bouncing seems to be my best bet. Bouncing in wheelie form. Because if I try to if I try to stop and regain speed on the uh, second pipe, that hasn't worked out.
Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. Obstacle passed 82 faults so far. It's not that hot today, but my AC is off, and I'm feeling about how the driver probably, how the rider probably feels right now. Okay, so this is another slope where I have to land in a very specific way. Because I need to build speed enough to make the next jump. But I also can't really stop accelerating completely or I'll fall. 100 faults. demanding than it looks. It looks like it should be so fluid and simple, but it's not. That's no good. Um, Urkel Sonic again. Please, 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 no! Where's Tails? I need him to airlift me over this obstacle. We haven't done a Sonic game since 06. Which, as I've gone on record saying, like, what's the point? We're never going to be able to top 06. After that, the games are just kind of, like, mediocre. In my opinion play Generations. It was okay. It was neither particularly good, nor was it funny bad. I hate that- I hate that, uh, that Chili Dogs are now canonized. I hate that they're now part of the game's canon, and not just, like, a stupid American thing that we can safely forget about. No, now they're actually tied to Sonic, goddammit. Along with jokes about Sonic's feet that I'm told are in Sonic... Uh, not Frontiers. What's, what was the one before that? Forces. I've heard Forces makes weird jokes about Sonic's feet. Or at least one such joke. How many people still think the uh, the Sonic movie poster thing, like the original Sonic design for the the live action movie, was like an intentional ploy to uh, like draw attention to the movie? I don't know if it's quite that. The story I heard was that uh, like the suits. At the, at the production studio, the, the CEOs of Paramount or whatever the company was, were convinced that people wanted realism and they insisted against, like, the movie creator's opinion that they needed, like, a realistic Sonic design. And so the creators made it intentionally, like, awful looking in order to, uh, like, prove a point that, no, this isn't what people want. Look, they're gonna riot. Oh, look, they're rioting. That's the version I heard. 
I don't know how true it is. It did ultimately work out in the movie's favor, though, because this studio got some, like, uh... They got some PR, like, oh, look, we're delaying the movie. We're listening. We care about what our audience thinks. Which might have softened people up on the movie in general. Because I remember even when the even when the first Sonic design like happened and was shown and everything. It seemed like that was the only thing anyone focused or talked about or cared about was how he looked. Whereas my problem with the movie was always like the premise of the whole thing. Which didn't change. That lasted into the final production. And I still don't really have faith, despite what people say, I don't have faith that it's, like, not going to be a terrible movie. But uh, I will one day watch it. I, I will eventually buckle down and watch the live-action Sonic movie. I think people are too easily impressed. I think if you jingle keys and references in front of them, they think it's amazing. Probably makes me sound like an asshole, but that's okay. I'm, I'm willing to be a little bit of an asshole. And a critical movie goer. I'm sorry, this level just brings out the worst in me. <laughs> I'm so done with this. I just want to stop playing, but, like, this is the last level. I can't stop playing now. I gotta finish it. Hundred eighty one faults. Gotta get speed. Gotta not flip over. Still so funny to me that uh, Infinite's theme is almost this type of music. It's like a combination of like new metal and a little bit of electronic, if I remember correctly. It's really bizarre and edgy and out of place for a 2020s game. When when was Sonic Forces? I think it was like 2021 or something. Maybe it was longer ago than that. Maybe it was like 2018 or 19. Maybe it was, in fact, late. Well, no, that's late 2010s, not late 2000s. That's still 10 years too late for that shit. I wonder what the 2010s will be characterized in the future. Because it's never, like, fully obvious what characterizes a decade until, like, a full decade later. I feel like we're only now, like, fully grasping what defined the 2000s. Like, the OOs. So, like that other slope in the previous level, I need to hold forward when I land on the second thing in order to prevent my back wheel from bouncing off. In fact, I need to hold forward... Well, no, do I need to hold back, actually? Uh, 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 no! 
That was almost it. That was so close. Two twenty one faults. Watch, we're only going to be like a third through this level. The worst case scenario is that this level is hard enough to merit its own full stream, and I'm going to be doing this for like another two hours. I guess the worst case scenario is I just am completely unable to finish it at all, but... I have, I have more faith in my skill than that. Okay, part of the problem is that uh, my mode is either fully on or fully off. I'm using the trigger, but I'm still playing as if I'm using the X button to accelerate. I need to use like, uh, I need to use like grades of acceleration. I need to finagle the throttle, tease it. Now I can't even make the first jump. How hot is it in here? I'm just curious. 83 right now. Finagle. Nope, too fast. Oh, too much. 250 faults. Okay, so if I carefully control my acceleration, I can stall on these platforms. It's not easy, but it's possible. It's still very difficult to accelerate at just the right rate so that I don't flip myself, though. Ah, oh, it's so hard. Am I still live on YouTube? The YouTube stream didn't get interrupted, did it? I remember one of our uh, one of our Jacks videos, which I would never advise anyone to watch that channel. It's still up because I'm not a historical revisionist. I don't delete stuff, but one of our uh, videos from our channel prior to this one was just a recording of me doing a particularly hard Trials level. Probably was Trials Fusion, come to think of it. And I just, like, sped up all the faults and made Jack watch it. Because it was such a demanding level. I just made myself sad. I just reminded myself that there are incredibly hard levels in Trials Fusion. Damn it. Now I'm not looking forward to that. It was like some, uh, it was like some space-time portal level. I wonder if that was the hardest in the game or if there's, there's worse. Get back. 
No, please. Uh. This part's the worst. I say that now. I'm gonna get I'm gonna finally get past it, and we're gonna get to a part that's even worse than this. Because that's how this game goes. There is a technique to it. I'm just bad at it. paranoid that I'm still live on YouTube because YouTube doesn't have a very good studio screen and it often doesn't correctly show the uh, the stream video that was an unnecessary reset all right I'm not distracted I swear I'm fully focused Easy. Uh, too fast. Too slow. Ah! I hit the limit, what do I do? Do I try again? How fast can I get back here? I could change bikes, I guess. Maybe I'll randomly do better on the Scorpion. I'm not fully... I'm not fully aware, like, what about a level makes me do better on which bike. Thus far, it seemed like I just did better on, like, the levels that have these kinds of advanced tech jumps on a lower speed, higher Excel bike. Nope. Maybe I'll try the donkey, and if that completely fails, I'll try the scorpion. And if that completely fails... I don't know what I'll do, because I don't even know how much of this level is left from here. I really don't want to do another stream of this game. But I also don't want to leave it with one level not finished. That would suck. I don't want to do that. Okay, I found the magic balance, and then it didn't matter on the next ramp. We're rapidly approaching the 30-minute mark. I kind of expected it, but I didn't want to. Is there going to be an Inferno 4 in Trials Fusion? Are they going to keep trying to do this? I feel like this is the last one. They'll probably have a different type of, like, hard final level in Fusion. This seems like the game to have a level like this, called Inferno, where everything's on fire and there's new metal playing. Trials Fusion doesn't seem like the type of game to do that as much. I get the balance. I make it up the ramp, but then I don't have the speed to make the jump and land safely on the third one. Is 
Is that even recoverable? Should I, should I even try at that point? And then if I, I... I have to do a gradual, though, because if I go too fast, I have even less speed because I flip over. This is now not even passive aggressivism. This is just frustration. I'm mad at this game. I am not having a good time. Can I fight Sans instead? I could do that. How, how long did that take us? We did, Undertale was a very early stream we did. I remember Sans, well it was specifically a genocide run. And uh, I remember Sans was on Halloween. And I had to leave in the middle of the stream to uh, help my dad. The, the, the this tree talk stupid guy. With uh, his, his car needed a jump. I think it was like a three or four hour video of Jack fighting Sans. And it also got claimed because he played the living tombstone spooky scary skeletons in the middle of it. For how little I remember of that playthrough, I sure remember that one particular stream. Oh, this isn't happening, is it? Maybe I just need a break. Maybe this is one of those things where I'll come back and I'll do it, like, first try. It won't be first try. There's no way it would be first try. Maybe I could do a recording. Maybe I'll just record myself and not stream me beating this level. Because it could be two hours, or it could be 30 minutes. Or it could be 10 minutes if I just become a god gamer, but I won't. I'm down to three minutes remaining. I think the final boss is going to win this time. I would be very happy if I could just get over this particular obstacle into one more checkpoint. That would be a personal victory for this stream. I don't think it's going to happen, but if I can do that in the next three minutes, I'll consider that a win. Hundred faults left. And I can't even really like wheelie bounce. Because then I will be going too fast down the second ramp. Two minutes. seconds. It's possible. Not probable. Not a hope, but a chance. Sixty seconds remain. run? 
No, it's not. <sighs> that was close. That was my best in a while, but it wasn't quite it. Accelerate too quickly. My front wheel goes up too far. Why is there a note of 22 seconds? Oh, it's counting down now. I see. Ten seconds. Can he do it? No, he can't. I need a break. I epic failed. Uh, yeah, sorry. I'm gonna stop here. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, do a recording of me doing the final level. So, uh, thank you for watching this part. And I will put up a part four of Trials Evolution where I finish Inferno 3. I'm gonna take another crack at it. I'm just done for today. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you probably tomorrow streaming something with Jack. We're probably due for Sly 3. That's, I think that's what's, uh, what's waiting for us. Adios.